I loved Mario RPG as a kid. I loved Paper Mario. I thought it was a fun update on the formula with a fun little twist on it. And then out of nowhere, like a good RKO this morning, I wake up and see Paper Mario, the Origami King announcement trailer. I have not watched this. I have not looked anything up on this. Let's just dive right on into it because I am very excited to see a brand new Paper Mario game from Nintendo. I love it already. How good to see you. Will you increase yourself and be reborn like me? That took me a second. Wrong answer, right answer. It matters not. Your replies are all paper thin. But um psh. Goodbye. Peach, what do you do? Amazing. Bowser. July 17th, that's coming out so quick. Nintendo, how I love you. So, are you like possessed? Are you evil now? And be reborn like me. Matters not, your replies are all paper thin. I guess she folded. So, okay. Dungeon, obviously. But is this... Um, well, obviously, it's Bowser. But, I mean, is he... Kind of like how in Mario RPG, um, Smithy took over his castle. Is this kind of a, not a redo, but like a similar kind of thing where instead of getting, he gets blown out of the castle, you, uh, he's captured and folded, transformed into whatever this is. Cause we saw him later on as a companion. Like, was the Origami King in disguise here? He's got that... That, like, old uh, emo kind of hairstyle here, which I think is amazing. I want to look at this shot for a second. Gorgeous. Love the art style. Love the color. Love how just vibrant it is. I'm hoping this is a town we can, uh, I'm assuming it is assuming it's going to be like the other Mario games where you kind of go from town to town, place, to place, location, to location, whatever. 
but it seems like there's all these different areas, like little paths here into the castle, off to another adventure over here. It's cool. Castle getting captured again. Totally original plot. It's like right here. Is this another companion or is this? Yeah, these must be all with us. I wonder if we'll have one or two. Maybe this is a sign that we'll... Oh, sorry. Maybe this is a sign that we'll have two people with us. And then you see him immediately by himself. Just to prove me wrong. This uh, immediately reminded me of uh, in Mario RPG. Not like the same thing necessarily, but when you're... Uh, you're going down the, like the waterfall or river in that mini game. And then you end up having to jump on the, the barrels and such. It's just, I'll, I feel like this is where they got the inspiration from for this. I could be completely wrong, but cool to see them enlarging the kind of worlds or levels, whatever you want to call it, give it some enough depth to give you a vehicle to ride around. And what's this? Is there like secret treasure you have to dig up? Is there loot? I do love loot. Indiana Jones running from the barrel. One thing I've always liked about the paper Mario games is when when they originally did this, they could have just made it kind of a, like a gimmick in terms of the art style and be like, look, everything's paper thin and blah, blah, blah. But Nintendo always takes that extra creative route. And I love how they implement the style into the actual gameplay, like ripping down paper shapes of, of whatever. And even in the original, you would, you could like turn sideways and, you know, go in like cracks between things that you normally would not be able to uh, nintendo has always just been so uniquely creative with that sort of thing great i'm uh, i want to know more about the battle system here is this maybe this is some sort of arena coliseum considering there's an audience i wonder if all battles will be like this where it's what four eight different characters were fighting at once or this is just some sort of special like i said side quest i want to know more about the uh, the battle system oh hold on i want to go back this looks like a like a vegas type area just because of all the lights and it's tropical and like a little store here Hidden boxes must be back, unless this is just a save box, maybe. But my guess it's going to be like the hidden. You unlock hidden blocks like in the uh, original Super Mario World. Oh, and just like that, it changed to an S for save. So <laughs> never mind. Love it. Love their in including platform. I mean, they always do. It's Mario, but. That's why I've always liked the the cross between like the platforming style and the RPG elements of a uh, Legend of the Seven Stars. Cool boss, I'm assuming. Air battle, airship battles. So it, it has to be two companions. Can I go back here just to try and light it up a little bit here? I can't find a good spot. Anyway, yeah. Bowser must be permanently in this form throughout the game, whatever happened to him. Paper Mario, the Origami King, July 17th. Two months away. This is amazing. Love the Donkey Kong over here. Love the old school sound effects. What's going on over here? Who are you? Man. So confession, 
I have never played Thousand Year Door. I've heard it's amazing. I just never uh, had it when I was growing up. I had, like I said, Legend of the Seven Stars, and I had the. I still have actually the original Paper Mario on the Nintendo sixty four, but I never got a chance to play Thousand Year Door, and this really makes me want to track it down somehow over the next two months and maybe we'll play it over on the Twitch channel leading up to this because I'm all over this. This was a surprise announcement, surprise reveal that has me all excited. I love, oh man, I love a good old school Mario game. Paper Mario the Origami King. Amazing. Oh, I missed this the first time. It's like a mini game. Has to be. The free willy moment. I just love the art style. Oh, I missed that the first time too. This is why we go through it multiple times. Ring moves. By time. So you're on a time limit doing all this. And you must be able to, yeah, with this being highlighted, you must be able to adjust their positioning. Maybe that's what he did here and is why these guys are all lined up. And maybe you can do one attack that will attack the uh, entire line, opposed to having to split it over two lines here. Interesting. Yeah, yeah great lineup. Yeah, there we go. Let's hope it's not like the sailing in Wind Waker. That was the, I know Wind Waker is very, uh, some people absolutely love it. I'm not here to hate on Wind Waker in any way, shape or form. I'm a long time Zelda fan, but man, I just, I, I couldn't do the sailing in Wind Waker. I just couldn't do it. When it got to the point, I think it was like sail the ocean and find 13 Triforce pieces, Triforce pieces. I was like, and I'm going back to Ocarina of Time. See you later, Wind Waker. Bad, I know. I know. I know. I'm not defending my actions. I'm just saying that's what I did. Can't wait to play this. Cannot wait. We will be streaming this on Twitch. A thousand percent july 17th 2020 love it <laughs> 